Hi there, um, this is the first day of Rosalie's sleep training. Uh, basically Rosalie is now 11 months old and pretty much since birth um, I've breastfed her um, before 7 and she's fallen asleep um, and I've been able to just transfer her to her cot but lately I think because of the, the warmer evenings and um, because she's just so much more active now she's crawling about and she's practically walking um, as soon as I finish breastfeeding her she's like wide awake and ready to party all night basically so um, the last few weeks I've basically just been lying next to her on the bed and waiting for her to fall asleep um, which can take up to sort of an hour, an hour and a half uh, but I've, I'm going back to work soon and I kind of want to get it sorted so I can have my evenings back. So today we begin sleep training. So I've done some research online. Um, basically, we're, well, we're kind of going for the cry out method. Um, first of all, we're making sure we've got a good bedtime routine in place. So Nick is currently giving Rosie their bath. And then um, after we've bathed her, we'll get her in her pajamas, um, take her into our mine and Nick's bedroom, um, where I breastfeed her on our bed, and then I'm going to put her in her room and in her cot, and lay her down, say goodnight, and leave her there. Um, normally, as soon as I leave her in her cot, she screams blue murder, she screams blue murder, screams her head off and cries, um, and she's not a happy girl at all. Um, in the past what I've done is let her cry for a, a maximum of 10 minutes, normally I set time on my phone and after 10 minutes um, I go back in there, pick her up and then normally she falls to, back to sleep because she's just so exhausted. But this time I'm going to keep laying, I'm not going to take her back out again, I've realised that's like the worst thing you can do. So um, when she cries we'll probably go in there like after 2 minutes at first, keep going back in, laying her down, um, telling her it's night time and then... Yeah, hopefully, eventually, she'll fall asleep. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go and start getting her ready for bed now. Um, so I'll let you know how we get on as the night progresses. So tonight is actually the second day of sleep training, Rosalie. I did attempt it last night on my own, um, and it was exhausting to say the least. Um, Rosalie was screaming full on. Don't know if you can hear her now, but like she is now. But two hours and 45 minutes. I mean, I was in on my own, Nick was at work, so it wasn't too bad. I just stayed in there, kept reading her stories, stroked her head, patted her to sleep. Um, but yeah, it took a long time to get her to sleep. I mean, so far we're on day two and um, it's been, only it's only been 40 minutes so far. She does seem a lot more tired than she was yesterday. Um, she's not crying solidly like she was yesterday. Literally, it was like all her effort solidly for like two and a half hours. It didn't stop. Um, but today she's having pauses. She is lying and sleeping. So fingers crossed it seems to be working. Um, I'll let you know how we get on and how long it takes her to go to sleep. Tonight. Hello. So the time is now. 20, so 8.53. Um, Rosalie has probably been asleep from about half eight. So we used to like put her down at 7.20, so it took an hour and 10 minutes for her to go to sleep. Um, she did have times, she put in between, she did cry a lot of the hour and 10 minutes, but she did have periods in between where she didn't cry solidly. Whereas the night before, it was full on crying the whole time. So, um, yeah, things are improving. Um, the first, after day one, it took two hours and 45 minutes for her to go to sleep, and on day two, it only took an hour and 10 minutes. So I can see that it is working, and um, as horrendous and heartbreaking as it is to hear her cry, um, it's having the right effect, and hopefully if we keep going with it, then Rosalie will be able to settle herself and fall asleep on her own. So. Um, yeah, roll on tomorrow. We'll see how long it takes her to go to sleep on day three. Hello, and welcome to day three of Rosalie's sleep training. Nick is just giving Rosalie a bath, and then I will breastfeed her, and then we will put her down in her cot when she's still awake, and hopefully 
won't be long till she falls asleep. Excuse my um, um, makeupness today. I've been painting the shed, so I didn't. I'm in my painting clothes, and I have no makeup on. But anyway, wish us luck. Hi there. Um, Rosalie has been asleep for about half an hour, um, and it only took seven minutes for her to fall asleep tonight, which is amazing. Basically, I've laid her down. She did go to bed a little bit later today, so it was about 7.40 when she went to bed. Um, after we bathed and everything, so yeah, it was a bit later than normal. Normally she's in bed by 7. Um, but yeah, she um, fell straight asleep pretty much. Um, I just laid her down, she cried a little bit. I put her dummy back in, shushed her, kept saying shush, 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 and stroking her face. And then she fell asleep. Yay! <laughs> so if it's like 7 minutes every day, that'd be brilliant. Um, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hello, it's 7.21 and I've just put Rosalie down in her cot. Um, she screamed for the first two minutes. I laid her back down and told her that it was night time, that she needed to go to sleep. And it's probably been about three, four minutes now and it's already silent. I don't think she's asleep, but she's not screaming, so this is a good sign. So um, I'll let you know how long it takes. I've just heard her. <laughs> she is still crying. It's day four uh, of Rosalie's sleep training and she has gone to sleep after, what is it, 19 minutes. So that's brilliant news. Um, the last two nights it's been seven minutes and then 19 minutes. So yeah, it's definitely getting easier. So we're going to keep doing it um, probably, well, we're going to hopefully keep doing it forever now. But I'm going to keep recording and monitoring how long it takes her to go to sleep for seven days. So we've got three more days. But um, it's definitely reducing the time it takes to put her to sleep. So this is great news and really positive. Hello! It's um, day five of Rosalie's sleep training and it took her ten minutes to get to sleep today. I put her down at 7.15 and by 7.25 she was asleep. So that is brilliant news, it clearly is working and she's going back to sleep much easier than, sorry again. She's going to sleep much easier than she did before. Um, she did wake up in the night last night um, about 3.40 and she didn't get back to sleep till like 10 past 4. So she slept in longer this morning. Um, but that's the first night um, that she's woken up the, through the whole of the five days that we've been doing it so far so I think that was just a fluke. So I will keep you, I will update you tomorrow and how we get on. Hello, it is day six of Rosalie's sleep training and I kind of cheated today because she fell asleep in my arms and I was breastfeeding and um, I'm so tired, I couldn't, I didn't want to wake her up so I carefully put her in her car and she stayed asleep. Um, before I've been kind of picking her up and carrying her like on my hip into the room so she wakes up a little bit. Um, but today I was just too exhausted. I need a bar. I don't know if you can hear it running. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and have a bar and hopefully raise the stay asleep. So yeah, um, she is a little bit today because we came in. But I mean, it was good that she did fall asleep. Um, she seems much more peaceful. So last day will be tomorrow. Hello, this is the last day of Rosalie sleep training. Um, I put Rosalie down at 10 past 7 and it took her 25 minutes to fall asleep to stop crying and to, to fall asleep. Um, so yeah, this is the last last night just to give you um, an update on what happened last night. I snuck her down because um, she fell asleep when I was feeding her so I just slowly put her in a cot but about half an hour later she woke up and it took about another half an hour to go back up and settle her again. Um, so probably not worth doing that again because we just have to do it later. Uh, but that's going to be the end of our sleep training videos. Um, it's definitely improving. Obviously it only took 25 minutes last night. Um, uh, the, the shortest amount of time it's taken us to get her to go to sleep throughout the week was 10 minutes. Um, but obviously she was just more tired that day and we put her to sleep a bit later. Um, so we're just going to keep up with it. It definitely is working. It's taking nowhere near as long as it did the first time. And um, hopefully soon it will be able to just put her down and she'll just fall asleep on her own. Um, that's the plan. But um, thank you for watching this video. Hope you find it useful.
Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.